Hey guys. Hello. Goya. Goyard update. Goyard. Goyard. No. Goya. No. Goya. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mayank and I'm a fashion freak, a Goyard geek, a luxury lover, a shop holic, shit And today we're doing a quick Goya update about their new bags that are launching technically today, that are launching next week, May 8th, but technically VIC today. And a quick update about the travel bags, but a longer update video coming about that as well. So basically we're doing a quick Goya update. <laughs> Let me short it. Quick Goya update. So if that's something you're interested in, please stick around, please smash that like button, please consider subscribing, keep on watching. Subscribe if you don't wanna miss any videos that I post, especially about Goyard. If you're a Goyard, banana, banana, person, then subscribe right now. And like and comment, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos that are coming out. I have two quick updates for you guys in this video. One, the new limited edition bags they're releasing, and then two, about the tip replacing of their travel bags, the Crossy and the Boeing. So I post, I have a video of both of these. The first video, this is a follow-up for both for both of those kind of, and I'll do a longer follow-up for the Crossier Boeing one later, but I just have a quick update for that. And then for the, yes, I don't know, I'd have a lot. And mostly we're talking about that, the, the new limited edition bags, which I also did a video of. So go check out both those other videos first if you haven't, and I'll do a recap of them as well here right now. Okay. Okay, so real quick recap. I have a previous video, which will be linked or in my Goyard playlist of Goyard releasing three bags. I had mentioned that they were releasing three bags on May 8th, part of their like, you know, their May May limited edition launch of bags. VIC sales would be technically today, May 1st, if they're releasing on May 8th. I have not gotten a text or call from any of my essays, which makes me think, oh, I might be in the doghouse with them right now or, or no longer a VIC. I don't know. I was kind of disheartened that I didn't hear about it. I did reach out to one of them and ask, but I haven't heard back. But more on that later. We'll, we'll figure out what's going on with me later, me and Guerrero later. Probably because of all of this. Definitely because of all of this. But it's okay because I want to give you guys information and give you what I have. And so we'll see. But yeah, I didn't get the I didn't get the message about it, or I didn't get any invitation to to preview them like I've gotten before or to come in early and see them or an email about them or anything like that. I haven't gotten any texts, any emails, anything like that. But I do know what's happening. I do know the release made. Also, I don't feel so bad because Goyar sent an email. So if you're on Goyar's listserv, they send out emails like the monthly, like the Gazette or something like that, the Goyar Gazette. Does that sound right? Is that the Geller Gazette? Friends, the Geller Gazette? That doesn't sound right. La Gazette Goyar, I was right. La Gazette Goyard, Goyard Gazette, Gazette Goyard. So basically it's like a monthly, it'll give you previews and news about the new stuff. So they already, this email about these bags went out on Friday. So the weekend's gone. I'm posting this on Monday, Monday, May 1st. Monday, May 1st, which I think is supposed to be technically the VIPC launch because in the past it's always one week before. So if it was one week before and I've been told it's May 8th, then it should be today. So if you are out there and you know, or you were our VIC and you got a bag or you have been invited to a preview or you're going to the preview, whatever, and you have any information you wanna share, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to know, especially because I am um, in the doghouse now. It's okay, I have my dog. Ty, Ty. Don't even have my dog. Ow. Okay, so I got this email. So basically it's Goyard's 170th anniversary. And they were started in 1853. And they were started in 1852, aren't weird. 1853, so it's 170 years. Oh, and so in my, if you saw in my previous video, I had said that they were doing a Poitiers Clairvoix with a pink interior, a Saint Louis Clairvoix with a pink interior, and then the Nano Saigon in the, with the Grege. And they're all in the Grege color, the new gray, it's like muted gray color that they started at the beginning of the year with the Anjou PM. Full recap in the other video, but the Anjou PM with the, the rabbit. So it's a new color that they introduced, a new colorway that they introduced. And I said that they was gonna be with a pink, which is cool because they're taking two limited edition colorways and doing a Clairvoix with it, which I thought was really cool. Little do I know, they're actually doing three limited edition colorways with the Clairvoix, which is even cooler. So, so I'm just gonna read the email and I'll post it here too, and then we'll go through it. So the effect Clearway Goyard continues the celebration of its 170th anniversary, the Goyardian Clearway Grege canvas. I think Clearway is just another way of saying Clairvoix, discover, discover, and they let you discover it. So like you can click on it and it'll go to the website. Um, so it's already listed on the website. So I, I also do not feel bad about posting it, talking about this because it's already out there. They sent an email and it is on their website. It's not on their Instagram yet, but it's out there in the world. The slatted canvas creates the subtle illusion that it can be seen through its iconic chevron weft. In 2023, to celebrate the 170th anniversary of Maison Goya, it is reinventing itself with an exclusive grege color, evoking the shades of the forest and the tones of the earth. The grege open work limited edition comes in three light color creations. The St. Louis GM bag, the St. Louis PM bag, and the Poitiers mini bag, available in a palette of three delicate shades, khaki, rose poudre, and turquoise. Turquoise, turquoise, turquoise. Okay, great, so lots to unpack there. First of all, so you can click on them 
You can't click on the GM, but you can click on the PM and you can look through. It's really cool actually. So the pink is what I saw originally and what I posted in the other video, if you go back and see, and there's images of that, but I didn't know it was gonna be PM and GM, but I figured it was gonna be PM and GM. So the PM and the GM, pink, which is a limited color, the new khaki green, which is also limited color that they did at the beginning of the year. So they're combining them with the, the, the Belvedere and the Cat Barrett and they did in a khaki green with the tricolored marcage. But now they're doing the green with the gray, which I think is kind of cool. And then they're doing the gray with the turquoise, which also really cool and i already got the turquoise last year but this is cool i think this is cool. the turquoise one i don't know i think the pink one's probably going to be very popular but the pink and the gray kind of do blend in together they kind of don't it doesn't even look like clear the blue one definitely looks very clear like you're looking through it like that clear wall effect and the green one's kind of muted too so but you can kind of look through it the green one kind of looks it, it like kind of exaggerates the gray pattern more the pink mutes it and the blue you can definitely think you're seeing through right is my opinion. PM, GM, and the Poitiers. Three bags, three colors, so nine different options. And then there's no mention of the Nano. So I wonder if the Nano is only VIP, VIC or they're doing it early and then they're gonna release the Nano like they did last time, they didn't mention it. Actually, they did in the email. So interesting that they haven't mentioned it here. Maybe they're doing something else with it or maybe they're just launching it on the 8th and not telling anyone beforehand. But by that time, I figure it's probably gonna be sold out. There's probably gonna make 150 of them. I hope, I really hope actually that they do a limited edition color inside of it too. Although that would make mine less special which would make me sad, but let's go get her. I'll be right back. Hello, here she is. We love her. Sometimes she's a him. Uh, this is my Nano Saigon in the jet black, which was the very first Nano Saigon along with the pink and it's amazing and I love it. So this is what they're doing this size in a gray. Don't know what the interior is yet, but if my guess, it would probably be pink, which would make it cool. Or maybe they do the, the khaki inside, which would make it really cool. Mine, keep it stuff, has a red interior which is awesome. And I love because black and red are my two favorite colors, obviously. So yeah, so they're doing this size in a gray. I'm excited for it. And if they do do that combo, great. Makes mine less special, but whatever. I don't think I'm going to get it. I kind of want to, but I also don't need to. And I don't think at this point I'm going to be offered it because it would have been today, I feel like, unless I'm going to get a call later, but I haven't heard anything. And also I feel like it's going to sell out really, really quickly. So you just sit right here. Ooh, didn't think I could wear it as a necklace, but we're doing that. So this one, so I think this one's coming later. I'm not sure yet. Really excited to see that and really excited to see what it looks like in real life or somehow see it from someone. I guess I won't be able to see it unless somebody posts about it. I hope somebody posts about it. If you guys are getting one or if you know anyone is getting one or you someone's got one, please let me know in the comments below. I'm really excited about this. So please, please, please let me know. Okay, so that's that and that's launching today, I think in VIC and then next week officially. It doesn't say in the email when it's gonna come out actually, does it? Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't say when, it just says it's coming. Vague, but there, okay. Next update I have is a weird update. I have more info, which I'm gonna do in a longer video, but basically the travel bags that are being discontinued, the Crossier and the Boeing, I think they're bringing the Crossier back, but in a different name is what my understanding is. Because So on Instagram today, May 1st, Goyard posted they had the Boston bag, which is literally the Crossier, but it's called the Boston bag. On the website, it still says Crossier. Online, it's called the Boston, which I don't think it's ever been called the Boston. Maybe it's it has, correct me if I'm wrong. But so it sounds like they're just replacing it with a new bag with the same bag, but just renaming it or rebranding it. And they call it the Boston. And then right before they posted the Voltigeur, I wanna say, and said that was a travel bag, but that's usually the pet bag, I think. It looks like the pet bag because it's got the little holes and stuff like that. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but I feel like basically, yeah, I was told that they were bringing back new bags, but much smaller. They wouldn't be the same size and they'd have more leather and they'd be a different you know, iteration of those bags, new travel bags. But now it seems like they're just, they just canceled it and they might bring back the same bag and renaming it. I don't know, there's nothing official about it, the, on the website, it still said the Boeings are still there and the Crosshairs are still there on the American website. And on the French website, they're called the Cruise and then the Travel Case. So the Cruise and Travel Case. Nowhere it says Boston anywhere. But yeah, that's, so that's that and that's that. And those are the updates I got. Yeah, oh, I also, sorry. Yeah, also, I I was able to find a few travel bags still available from the previous collection for sale at Goyard. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get them. If I can, I'll let you guys know. If I can't, if I can secure them, I'll let you guys know. And I will do a video unboxing them and talking about them and everything like that. If I can't, I'll let you know why not, or the whole process and everything like that. But stay tuned for that and any more info I have about the bags or the images I think are coming out for them or, or kind of mid-May-ish, I wanna say, I releasing the images. So I will, when I get them, I will post them as well. Uh, if they do it the same way where they do an email and everyone knows, or if I'm able, if I'm allowed to share them, we'll see. So I do my best to share them as soon as I can, basically is what I'm saying. Okay, so that's all I got. If you guys know any more things or you have any other info, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you think. If you guys have any comments or any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll see you in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please, 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 please consider subscribing. Please smash that like button. If you like this, please share with your friends and family. If you hated it, share it with your enemies and exes. I know your time is valuable. I know your time is precious. So I appreciate you spending your time here with us. Thank you guys. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.